Code on Time is an advanced rapid application builder tool that allows creating enterprise-ready applications for mobile devices in the web. While it's not required, the first recommended step to build your next great app is to have a database. In this example, I have a simple test database hosted via Postgres that contains a list of products organized by category and with some information about suppliers. Let's learn how to connect to my database and create my first project. In order to connect to Postgres, we'll need to install the NPG SQL provider component on our application host. We'll navigate to the NPG SQL homepage, click on the NPG SQL tab, and navigate to Installation. In this case, we'll need to install into our Global Assembly Cache, or GAC. We can follow the provided URL to the Releases page. Due to a regression in the latest version, we'll go ahead and download version 4.0.10. We'll proceed through the setup. Make sure to enable the GAC installation option. Once the connector is installed, we are ready to build our first app. Let's create a new project. First, we'll provide a name. Go ahead and press Create. And let's connect to the database on the next page. We'll select the NPG SQL provider and click on the three dot button. We'll connect to localhost, enter your database name and your username and password. We can see that our test connection has succeeded. We'll go ahead and press Next and start assembling our data models. These models represent how the database schema is going to be perceived by the app builder and is used to compose a set of controllers, views, fields, pages, and other elements. Let's start with products. You can see that foreign keys will be followed and they'll pick up the first required string field as an alias for the lookup. We can go ahead and borrow additional fields from reference tables. In this case, let's grab the city and country for the supplier. We can go ahead and rename a field or change the label. In this case, supplier company name is a little bit long so I'll stick with the label Supplier. We can also create calculated fields by clicking the plus SQL icon, providing a name, and specifying our formula. In this case, we'll multiply unit price by units in stock. We can specify a format of C for currency. Make sure to sort by product name with type ascending. Our model is ready. Let's go ahead and save it. Next, let's add models for categories and suppliers. We'll sort by category name. and we'll sort by supplier company name. Our models are now ready. Let's go ahead and proceed through the project wizard. Go ahead and press generate. 
After a few seconds, the app will be started via IIS Express and will open in your default browser. We can navigate to the products page. We can now start adding products to our database.